Hello, good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Tuesday, the 14th of August. The Bank of Japan minutes, New Zealand retail sales and Australian business confidence data were released overnight, but all failed to generate a significant market reaction. A flood of economic data due later today could inject more into the FX markets. German and Eurozone gross domestic product readings for quarter two threatened to disappoint. The economic sentiment survey due from Germany has also proved to be significant market movers in the past. In the UK, another weak consumer price index report today would be seen as opening the door to yet another round of quantitative easing once the current programme runs its course. And this could trigger some gr great British pound weakness, however brief. The euro rose to make a two-day high of 123.73 from 122.60 versus the US dollar and then stabilised at the 123.45 mark. The US dollar rose from 78.15 to 78.46 against the Japanese yen as investor sentiment was impacted by the weaker than expected Japanese GDP result. Gold fell back from $1,625.50 to $1,607.29 a barrel and its range-bound movement continues. The UK 100, which tracks the FTSE, slumped from 5842.8 to 5795.3, a 0.33% daily fall. The US 500, which tracks the SP 500, had small declines from 1403.88 to 1394.12, a 0.04% daily fall. And let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 123.20, with a preference to enter into long positions at 123.30. The dollar yen pivot point is at 78.50 with a preference to enter into short positions at 78.45. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 105.60 with a preference to enter into short positions at 105.60. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 156.45 with a preference to enter into long positions at 156.55. And the dollar cab pivot point is at 0.99 with a preference to enter into long positions at 0.99. Looking at commodities and indices, the oil pivot point is at 91.75, with a preference to enter into long positions at 91.75. The gold pivot point is at 1618, with a preference to enter into short positions at 1618. The silver pivot point is at 28.05, with a preference to enter into short positions at 28.05. The US 500 is at 1392, with a preference to enter into long positions at 1392. And the UK 100 is at 5477, with a preference to enter into long positions at 5477. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. And on the calendar, the market movers are the UK Consumer Price Index month on month in July, forecast to rise to minus 0.1%. EU German zoo economic sentiment forecast to come out at minus 19.6 and the US retail sales month on month in July forecast to rise to 0.3%. And an interesting pair to watch is the Canadian dollar tumbling from its 18-month high of 0.9871 to establish a daily low of 0.9776 against the Swiss franc. If the pair continues flying down towards the 0.9760 support level, then lower levels of 0.9650 and 0.9580 might be seen and make the from the top complete. Only a late push above the 0.98 level will see the Canadian fight back. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma and Joe from Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.